Sometimes life lets you down, and you feel that you are done. You just want a morning run because the fun is so gone. But sometimes life makes you proud when you look far and wide, when you leave the pain behind and see the brighter side. TNC gives you inspiration. The new channel. The new channel. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following show are those of the hosts, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there and welcome to the new channel. We are here to help you see the new you. My name is Lloyd Luna. This is The Big Picture. Good evening, world! Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, wherever you're watching from around the world, good evening! Thank God, it's Friday, the 23rd of October, 2020. How have you been, ladies and gentlemen? I am getting myself really ready for this episode because I'm going to speak in English the entire time. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> Always a challenge. But we're going to enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, because we have an entertainment in, uh, entertainer in the show. So our producer and co-founder of PNC is saying good evening, and uh, I think she's saying good luck. <laughs> But let's enjoy tonight because tonight will be an inspirational moment for every one of us. Um, not a Filipino, definitely our guest, but definitely someone who can inspire. Have been inspiring, uh, in fact, uh, he has been inspiring a lot of people around the world. Been here in the Philippines, has been here in the Philippines for a couple of, of times, and uh, who knows when he's coming back. Maybe this is a prelude to another tour to the Philippines. Why not? <laughs> But I'm excited. I'm excited. I got here rushed from traffic jam. You know, traffic in the Philippines is definitely back. Ladies and gentlemen, one hour for a uh, less than 10 kilometer stretch of the road. 
so we are getting used and getting familiar with the new normal. This is becoming more of more of a new of a of an old normal, by the way. The new normal that we used to see is now the old normal because traffic is back. Hello, uh, Jocelyn Manalili. Good evening to you too. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Uh, si Muhammad Nadim is also here in our stream. Thank you so much for watching. If you are watching us right now, please do share our live stream link. You can also organize your own watch party or you can pass on the message through your uh, social media groups, Viber, or WeChat, whatever groups you have in there so that your friends, families, and associates can watch the same show for tonight. You can also join our conversation. Just drop some comments on our comment stream down below. Write down your comments, questions, suggestions. If uh, someone is celebrating their special moment or special day, please do let us know so we can greet them as well. You can also watch us live on youtube.com slash TNC now. And if you are going to watch us on youtube.com slash TNC now and drop some comments in there, you can get uh, get an opportunity to uh, have a gift courtesy of Unisol and TNC. Ito po yung pwede ninyo mapanalunan. You can get this uh, for free if you're going to watch us on youtube.com slash TNC now. What is it? The item that you can get from us? Please watch. Washable face mask worth 600 pesos courtesy of Unisol and TNC if you're going to, uh, if you live within Metro Manila and uh, we chose you at the end of the program to be the lucky viewer for tonight, the delivery is on us. So again, watch us on youtube.com slash TNC now and uh, drop some comments, good comments in there. <laughs> we don't want bad comments, by the way. <laughs> good comments in there and... Uh, yeah, let's see if you will be the lucky chosen one for tonight. So again, uh, the item is courtesy of Unisol and TNC. Wow, exciting, exciting episode for tonight. Uh, I think uh, the guy is going to give us some sort of a surprise number. <laughs> surprise number. Uh, he's a singer, so I bet he will sing. Who knows? Anything can happen, right? This is live. But before I call in my guest uh, to the studio, I'm going to uh, invite you to take a look at the headlines from the country's oldest uh, English writing newspaper, The Manila Times. <music> Justices decry court coddling of Leon. Pope endorses same-sex unions. No BSP digital currency in near future, according to Jokno. Chinese vaccine maker applies for local trials. Go seeks transparent procurement process. Exodus of Chinese workers continues. LTO extends validity of expired licenses. DTI relaxes control measures on malls. Headlines presented to you by the Manila Times. For more news and information, please go to manilatimes.net or download the application at digitaledition.manilatimes.net. All right, so let's get to know the person that you're going to watch the entire time <laughs> and get inspiration from. You know, the guy is one of the best singers, songwriters to come along since the heyday of Teen Pan Alley, according to who? Not me. 
<laughs> but Barry Manilow, what about that? Our guest is a triple trip, a first class entertainer, musician, uh, a top notch vocalist, and a critically acclaimed songwriter, recording artist who tours internationally each year. I don't know how he does this, how he does it <laughs> this time, playing countless uh, shows for his dedicated fan base. He has recently released his latest album, Whatever It Takes. A perfect title for an artist who has endured quite a long and winding road through his musical career. Starting out uh, playing jazz saxophone, something like that, at age of eight. Is it normal for someone age eight to do this? I doubt it, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> went to, uh, went on to be uh, the lead singer in famed Hollywood teen pop band Candy. <laughs> I don't know what year this is. <laughs> I'm gonna ask later on. <laughs> but the band is called Candy before embarking on a multi-major label journey that would see him release many high-quality albums of original songs. Uh, he has a, a uh, nationally charting single won best male vocalist of the year at the hollywood music and media awards was the opening act on barry manilow's greatest hits tour raised thousands of dollars for charity causes by the way he lives in and was even trained by former u.s president al gore to deliver presentations around the world on climate crisis now this guy our guest for tonight has toured the Philippines many times, appearing with such notable artists such as Lloyd Luna. Oops, <laughs> not not Lloyd Luna. Sorry, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Rex Smith, John Ford Coley, and John Claude Gumo of the uh, Cascades, among others. In his uh, well-received concerts, there he would even sing one song each night in Tagalog. I'm excited to hear one Tagalog song tonight <laughs> of his fans in the Philippines. He remarks, of all the places I play in the world, listen, I have a real soft uh, spot for my fans in the Philippines, he said. They are so supportive, warm, and generous. And of course, just about all of them are great singers, so it literally puts the pressure on me to do my best. <laughs> And you are just about right. Uh, our guest for tonight is uh, Kyle Vincent. Hello, Kyle. Thank you so much for coming to the big picture. Appreciate your time. Salamat po. Magandang kabi, Lloyd. Okay, you started it. Do you want me to continue with the Tagalog thing? No. <laughs> That's all I have. That's all I have. Okay. okay. Good thing. <laughs> your English is fabulous. Your English is fabulous. Don't worry. You sound great. Thank you so much, Kyle. Appreciate your time. We really are honored that you're here. It's not really the best time to do an interview if you are in that part of the world. Where are you live streaming from now? I'm live streaming from my home in, in Western Massachusetts on the East Coast of the US. And the time is? Uh, I don't know, a million o'clock in the morning. I don't, you guys woke me up. <laughs> I have no idea. I think it's 7 a.m. or something. I don't know. I'm a zombie right now. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm trying to be awake. <laughs> you should at least for the next forty-five minutes. After that, go back 45. to your bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Not that long. You go back to your bed after, and then who cares? I mean, right? You just sleep uh, after this, but not during the show. Thank you so much again for coming. It's an interesting time of the year. How are you? Yeah, it is interesting. That's for sure. Um, I'm I'm fine. Um, thanks for asking. Um, it's been um, a uh, uh, you know it's 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 odd. It's you know it makes you want to complain, you know, and say how how awful things are, and I can't play shows and I can't tour. But so many people have it so much worse that um, I, I find myself uh, seeing it from the other side, seeing how fortunate I am to be healthy and to have space, uh, clean air, and, you know, 
space to run around in and not have the traffic of the Philippines right now. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry you're having to endure that. But uh, in a way, it's kind of good that the traffic is back because that means the people are getting back to work, you know. So maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, half good, yeah. half bad. But yeah, that's very interesting. This is unprecedented. Nobody expected it. What was the first thing that came into your mind though, when uh, you hear about this global pandemic thing uh, that restricted our mobility, really? Well, I was, um, I was on the West Coast visiting my mother in Northern California when it, things started to happen. It was a big birthday for her. So uh, I did one show out there, and then that's been it for the last, you know, eight months or so. Um, but uh, for me, it's, it wasn't a big change because, you know, I've always worn masks on airplanes for about the last 10 years. A lot of times I was the only person wearing one. But I learned about that in Japan, where people wear masks all the time. Um, usually when they themselves are ill or sick, they mm. wear a mask and out of, you know, so that they don't pass it along to somebody. So I learned that there and I wear them on the airplane all the time. So that mm. wasn't a really big change for me. But um, mm. not being able to see family and friends is uh, is definitely the, the toughest part of all. And then and then next is um, is not being able to to be with fans, not be able to play mm. shows. It's very unnatural for me. This is mm. this is very not normal. Um, mm. Usually I'm on the road half the year, and I'm on an airplane the other half of the year. So it's uh, it's 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 a good time for reflection and to get things done that you haven't had time to get done. I'm archiving a lot of things. We're we're working on a ton of projects. The the work has mm -hmm. not stopped one moment for me. There was there was an an offer for uh, for an airline that you can uh, fly anywhere. <laughs> I don't know if you get the if you get the news. So. Send they it just, to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's true. You just uh, board, and then the airplane flies anywhere, and then we'll take you back to the wow. airport. Yeah. Wow, I, I, I love it. That. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, but hold on. Um, the, the the first few days and few weeks must be really hard, considering that uh, we are not used to this kind of quarantine, lockdown, a uh, circuit breaker, whatever they call it in, in many parts of the country. But being there just inside uh, and you are not really used to it, what are the coping mechanisms that keep your sanity? Well, um, <laughs> it, it, it kind of is a daily struggle, you know, um, definitely. Um, writing, uh, music and other things um, help. Uh, the biggest thing that helps me is being outside in nature and being with trees and animals and breathing air and walking around uh, in nature. Without that, I would I would go nuts. I really uh, I need that. Mm. Um, I, I guess that's it. And just it, it's really, as I said, it's a time of reflection, which can be good and bad. It's too much too much reflection <laughs> could start driving you a little nuts. Uh, exactly the the lack of so social interaction the, the lack of a simple hug uh really takes its toll you know um i'm i'm fearful when i get back on the road because i'm going to attack everybody i see with the biggest hug so uh, i hope they're ready for that <laughs> and they they're not really afraid of like oh no 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 even if you're kyle don't that's hug. right here he comes <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, Lloyd Luna, Kyle Vincent uh, tour in the Philippines. Please, please. I mean, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, definitely, I, I'll be really excited. I, I produced my own album, by the way, two years ago. I, I did a wow. all, all original Filipino songs, uh, love songs, wow. in fact, a pop song. And it's now on Spotify. Well, it has been there for, for two years now. But anyway, wow. can you walk us through uh, how did you get into this business you know there are so many singers out there st still struggling to find that that uh, special break uh, mm -hmm. rare break opportunity how did you get into this business um well those are kind of two topics in a way in a way but um the way i got into it was just kind of by accident i i just as you said earlier i started playing a saxophone at a very young age i was very 
naturally musical. I don't know why. I was singing at a very young age and um, uh, grew up hearing melody and hearing harmony. Every song that was on the radio, I was singing harmony to. And it sounded, I thought, sounded pretty good. So, uh, but parents are not. Parents are I'm not singers or musician. Your parents. Are well, actually, my mother was was a little bit of a singer. Yeah, and she plays piano. So there was definitely musical genes there. My father was the greatest opera singer in the the shower has ever heard. And he, <laughs> when, it was unbelievable. He had this really deep baritone, and he had a very heavy accent. Uh, Spanish accent, and um, and so he would be singing in the shower. You'd be like just waking up the morning here, you know, like oh my god, who is that? It's like Pavarotti's in the shower down the down the hall. Um, so there, I think there was some genetics there, um, and I just went on, and you know, I got sick of jazz. It was too much jazz on the saxophone, so I moved on to. Uh, uh, completely the opposite. And I picked up a bass guitar and started playing in a punk band. You know, I got away as, as far as I could from jazz. And uh, then I joined a pop band in Los Angeles. We had some pretty good success. I left that and went on to solo. And I just kind of never stopped. It wasn't really a plan. It just kind of happened. It sounds um, easy. You know, I don't mean to make it sound easy because it's been anything but easy. It's been... Ooh, it's been, I've had one kooky career. Um, I was just speaking last night. Uh, the new album is distributed by the biggest, you know, company in the world, Universal. And I was on the phone with them last night. And the main person over there who just signed this new album has been, you know, my fan and friend for so many years. And, and she says, I thought, Kyle, this was going to be the perfect album. This is going to be the one that finally breaks through. And she and the release date was March 20th, 2020, which was the day that Universal shut their doors and sent everybody home was the day my album was released. And we were just saying, not again. You know, what's I, I fear what's going to happen the next time an album is released. So I've definitely yeah, I had a lot of bumps in the row. I I also wonder like uh, okay this is released so go home and then it's kind of hanging the balance you cannot even get your award do you have any idea how many uh, how many uh, download uh, did you did you get <laughs> because everything went on leave I mean everyone went on leave after that you know I have no idea um, what's what's going on there but we're we've got some great news coming up soon we're gonna uh relaunch this and there's there's more to the story but i can't say anything about it yet but just follow me and you'll know but we're going to we're not giving up on this record we're going to reintroduce it to everybody oh definitely consider it as, yeah. a, as a rehearsal <laughs> that's right that's right it was like an intro that's right yeah this, this is weird because it's backwards so i'm like tilting my head but i see it go the other way that's why i keep doing that i'm trying to figure out yeah star, star wars be that first right i mean backwards so yeah, I guess it's funny. Yeah, you're you're fine. You're just uh, you're sure. just about okay. I mean, you're following I'm the just about the okay. All right, Good. <laughs> perfect. But well, you're talking about highs and lows. Uh, you didn't mean to make this really sound so easy. Your career. What was the lowest oh, point? Uh, um, uh, honestly, when I say it's been like this, there really have been many. I guess low points again. You have to keep it in perspective. A real low point is not having food. <laughs> you know, this is a kind of, you know, career low points. I don't consider it, you know, the end of the world. It's just a setback. And it depends on how much um, perseverance you have from within and to get you through those low points. But there's been several. Usually I would. You know, you sign a big deal, you're all excited, everything is going to um, be wonderful, everybody loves you, and then, you know, somebody gets fired at the record company, or um, something happens that, that's out of your control, mm. and all of a sudden, the phone doesn't ring, and mm. there is no money coming in there, and there are no gigs, and there are no interviews with, with, with anybody, and, and you start to wonder, well, I don't understand, I... I 
thought I wrote good songs. I thought the album, and you start to question yourself. And that's what you have to really fight because you want to, by nature, you, you, you turn it on yourself and you think, well, it must be something I am not doing or something I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Many times, if not usually, it's really not that, or maybe it's a little combination. And uh, to me, I don't know what it is inside of me, but um, I certainly have got to the point of giving up, close to giving up, so many times. And something inside of me just says, nope, one more time, one more time, one more song, one more show. And then you do that show let's say in the Philippines and you see a thousand people in the audience singing with you and crying and, and you go, what, what was I thinking? How could I think of giving this up? You know, even if I don't do it for me, I have to do it for them. And, um, so that's what keeps me going, but don't think for a minute there aren't, <laughs> I mean, I, I've yeah. been pushed to the point of giving up many, many times. And, uh, I guess, thankfully I, I yeah. crawl out of that. Yeah. Who do you who do you turn to uh, during these uh, lowest moments? Do you have a sort of a accountability partner, a friend, a bandmate, a parents, families, relatives? That's a really good question. I guess I guess close friends keep me grounded, and you know they're they are there to tell you everything's going to be all right, even if you question it and you're not, you know, yeah, all right, you can say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you know time time is probably the best thing i turn to time gets you through things and and as i said earlier nature you know just being being grounded literally being on the ground literally you know take off your shoes and touch the ground mm -hmm. go hug a tree you know those things keep me grounded All right that's an interesting and inspiring uh, thought because you know people normally when they give up it's it's just the end of the road and then they they just find another um another uh things to do and you know they, they don't come back and your particular case wow it's just amazing uh that that we know that there are parts of your uh, journey that says you know you you were there uh at, at some low point joyce christian says perseverance gets you through the low points yes see yeah and again it's kind of easy to say that and i don't mean to make it sound so easy because you know we've all been through most of us have been through breakups relationship breakups and you think it's the end of the world and you know for some it is i mean and, and it feels that way it really does and when you have career low points it does feel like well and, and, and maybe you should go on to something else. I'm not saying, you know, sometimes that's the right move to try something else. I mean, if you keep persevering with something that isn't connecting and isn't working, well, maybe it's not right. Maybe you should reassess and go on a different road. Um, I, and I, I guess I tweak, tweak things and make little changes. But the one thing is you have to be true to yourself. You can't if you follow trends especially in music this is a perfect correlation here if you if you try to follow what's hot in music right now you know a certain sound a certain way of writing you're going to be behind because that song will the song i write now isn't going to be heard by anybody for probably a year and there are and, a lot uh, i have listened to i mean probably you have the same experience yeah. that they are just there for the fad uh, after a while it's right I was, I, where was I yesterday? Oh, I was getting my hair cut yesterday, <laughs> uh, wearing a mask and everything. And, um, and they had country, American country music on. I actually am a fan. I have a lot of big, big, uh, my favorite artists, many of them are country artists, mostly kind of from the 70s and 80s. Um, but I was listening and I was making fun of it because every song had the exact same kind of chorus. Ba -ba 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 I mean, rhythmically, lyrically, it was the same uh, pattern of writing. And um, I, 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 that, that is not inspiring to me. That sounds like somebody, like you just said, trying to make a buck and just follow the fad. But if it's a hit song, I mean, I guess they know what they're doing. I, I, yeah. I couldn't do that. I have to write from the heart. I, right, I don't right. listen to the radio when I write songs. I never do it. I yeah. listen I listen to this. 
same case. I mean, it's distracting. <laughs> it is distracting, man. It is. You're right, and it. But it's tempting, right? I mean, uh, agree with me. Agree with me if you will, Kyle. But it's sometimes tempting <laughs> to just you know follow wherever the uh, uh, the the uh, what they call it the, the fad or the uh, uh, there's trend. a term for this the trend is going yeah. really. But at the end of the day, real artists uh, have to really go inside and dive deep to what he feels uh, is something that uh, he really truly believes in. Yeah, I agree. And I think it, it also depends on what your goals are. I mean, I could move to Nashville tomorrow and hook up with some good writers there and, um, and write those formulaic country pop songs and probably be very successful and have a huge house and make a lot of money and, and win awards and all that. But I feel like I could probably do that, you know, because I know how to write songs. I just don't want to. I mean, it's just that, that it's just, it's not just selling out. It's uh, well, yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of selling your soul for me, for others. What, it's a job. And that's what, great. What, and I admire that. What made you that kind of person that deep? Is it the experiences? Is it uh, your upbringing? If you can pinpoint one particular thing that made you, uh, you know, the person that you are now really trying to believe uh, your your inner self rather than what the world needs or wants. Boy, you ask great questions. I got to tell you, I'm very impressed. <laughs> uh, usually I get, what comes first, the music or the lyric? Uh, why did you become a vegetarian? Was it the... Anyway, um, You're going there. Yeah, I really, I appreciate it. Yeah, those are coming nice. Don't worry. Um, I, perhaps it was my upbringing. I mean, my parents were very, very political and kind of deep thinking. And uh, I don't know if they intentionally taught me, but I just by observing uh, and being in certain situations with them, I saw that they were very, um, uh, they saw below the surface of things and um and wanted to um uh, be generous and compassionate and humble and all those things and I, I think i did learn some of that i grew up in a very very uh, ethnically diverse um, part of the country and uh, a school system that was very integrated with different races and cultures and so you're forced to acclimate acculturate um uh <laughs> you know you have to quickly be able to fit in with different cultures i learned that from a very young age from like seven mm -hmm. and all the way through high school you know my friends came in all shades and um all backgrounds including filipino and chinese and african-american and indian and everything you can imagine were my best friends and um I have no idea where the question was, but somewhere in there is your answer. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere there. You got it somewhere no there. I'm also trying to yeah. figure where, which part, but I'm going to review. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Just yeah. keep yeah. replying no it. I think you'll find an yeah. answer in there somewhere. We, we'll find an answer for sure. Okay, I'm going to pause for a short commercial. Uh, and then when sure. we come back, uh, more of your story and your inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. Please stay on our stream because the big picture on PNC will be right back. Stay on our stream. Since I got my new place, I've enjoyed every single day here. Hotel-like amenities, attentive staff, resort-style living, all in a premium location. So life here is easy and convenient. That's why I invested in another unit. I can earn more. And they can enjoy the very same things I enjoy at home. What a life! So much more rewarding. So much more to life. SMDC. We need beauty every day. We need power every day. But are you ready? Ready? Ready. Beauty is power.
Welcome back to the show. You're watching The Big Picture on the new channel. Before I call in back my guest again for tonight, I would like to invite you to watch our other shows on the new channel. The Big Picture shares inspiring stories of notable personalities Mondays through Fridays at 7 p.m. HR Hotline with Jesse Rebastilli introduces us to the wonderful world of human resources management Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Have an insightful Saturday afternoon because the family business is everyone's business at 4 p.m. The Perk Project is about life, business, and success. UAE, Dubai, 6 p.m., 10 p.m. Philippine time. Usapang kagandahan, kakikayat, kasiyahan is a show that enlightens us to find the beauty in everything. Usapang beauty, Saturdays at 5.30 p.m. Discover your life purpose and learn from others' turnaround stories by tuning into U-Turn Mondays and Thursdays at 10.30 a.m. Home buyer is where you hear remarkable stories about building and owning properties Mondays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. YOLO is for all of us to understand that law is fun and equally cool. Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Two leaders in one platform, TNC The Talk, Mondays 12 noon after shift. Relax and share a booze while we chat about our choices and lives that we live after work. Wednesdays and Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Discover your talent and learn how, to, or how you can share with others through Win Within, Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Dream, achieve, nurture, and inspire. Tag your kids along and watch Danny Art Show Fridays at 5.30 p.m. Okay, I'm going to uh, read the other uh, part when we come back from our second break. In the meantime, I'm excited to still talk with our uh, special guests for tonight. The boring and the board, the board, sorry, the board, Kyle Vincent. Sorry, the board. <laughs> uh, did you just call me Nakababa Goat? <laughs> no, the board. You, you, you're, you're doing nothing but reflect and reflect. Too much reflection. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I told you. Too much damn reflection. That's right. I love that. Nakababa goat is one of my favorite. It's one of the words I've learned in, in Tagalog like, because I like to be deep. known as Doctor Nakababa goat. Yeah, it's deep. It's very deep. It's nakakabagot. Nakakabagot is boy. But good thing you know that. I mean, bad thing for me because you know that. But good thing that you know that. <laughs> good. Okay. So uh, back to your story. It's not a really a uh, 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 smooth sailing journey, as is for everyone for sure. But this is a competitive uh, business as well. Um, sure. What what uh, what what is that key to making it to the business? I mean, business wise, uh, like a great manager. Uh, because because there are a lot of great musicians. They do great music, but for some reason they doesn't doesn't work right well i didn't used to believe in luck <laughs> but i i changed my thoughts on that because there is a lot of there is some um happenstance um that occurs if you're in the right place at the right time you meet the right person but the the follow through is what's important are you a are you a a nice kind humble person that they want to do business with that's really important uh, nobody wants to work with a jerk you know, um, sometimes you have to, they're just so famous. You have to, you have to work with them. But in general, if you're starting out, being a nice person can really go a long way and saying thank you and following up the next day with a thank you. That's, that's such a forgotten gesture, unfortunately, these days. Um, I, I think in today's uh, market, today's technology, the opportunity, there's so many outlets. Let's just talk about mine, for instance, which is music. It's just unbelievable. And it's there's so many, it can actually be overwhelming. I'm sure you've discovered this. And, and so it, it's a little difficult to stay focused because you're like, well, I need to make a video, but wait, I need to make a TikTok, but wait, I have to get, you know, I have to get followers and likes and Instagram. And you end up, you know, just having a cup of tea and going for a walk because it's too much. So you really have to stay focused, take a deep breath. And then, you know, once you put it out there, you just kind of have to hope that it connects, that whatever product you're doing, whether it's a song or a book or a, a widget that you made, at some point, people, the word has to get out there and, and you have to connect. Uh, it has to connect with people. Sometimes that's out of your hands, I think, a little nowadays. I think mm -hmm. some of that is luck of the draw. 
yeah, everybody can be really a, a musician right now, considering that you know you can just uh, get an aggregator and then you just put your th songs in Spotify and iTunes, whatever the, the application it is. Definitely, but... yeah. And Lloyd, it as you know because you're on Spotify with your own music. Um, if it's good music, you hope it rises to the top. But the problem is the waters are so muddy right now. There's so much because everybody is a musician, everybody is an author, everybody's a photographer. So the people who really have the art and have something special to show in whatever it is, um, it, it doesn't have to be art, it could just be a product uh, or a service you provide. It's very hard, it's difficult to stick out. As many opportunities as there are ha ha has actually made it easier and more difficult, of course. Mm -hmm. So um, that's very overwhelming. And, and you just have to, I think you go back to basics, which is just do what you feel in your heart, do what you do best. And more mm -hmm. importantly, what you enjoy. And if it hits in some way, it hits. If you only will be satisfied with making billions of dollars and having all the riches of the world, well, good luck. That's never been my motivation. Not for one moment of my life has that ever been a motivation. So I'm okay with that. You see, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. That's I, You asked earlier what gets you through the downs. I mean, as long as I can pay my bills, and there's been many times I haven't been able to, but as long as I can just survive, <laughs> basically, uh, I'm pretty much okay as long as I'm doing what I feel is, is honest. At that point, there's nothing I can do. I can't force people to subscribe to my YouTube channel as much as I'd like to, but I can't or do it. I or just pay, can't or do it. Pay someone to, you know, get followers for you. Yeah, I suppose that's the next step, you know. But <laughs> a lot of those followers are, you know, robots on an island somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But they're good. You know, I love robots. That's fine. But, but we live in a world where people are judged based on the number of followers on Instagram, YouTube. <laughs> I, I just... I, I, don't even get me started because I'll start standing up and ranting and raving because it drives me nuts. It really does. It's like I didn't get into this to beg people to follow me because I don't want to be begged. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to tell me follow me. Again. It just. But we have to. You and I have to do this because there are actual like markers you have to hit. For instance, mm -hmm. I can't go live. I can't monetize. That's the secret behind the scenes with YouTube. Um, I can't do that without a certain number of followers. That's one reason people beg you to follow them and subscribe on, on YouTube because it there are certain markers you have to hit in order to do things. God, my head looks so huge on this video. <laughs> and, uh, that's why nobody's subscribing. And, um, so yeah, it, it's overwhelming and I have to laugh at it. Luckily, I. I have a way of laughing at adversity my whole life, so that that definitely gets through. Get the humor will get you through anything. Feels like uh, you're used to it anyway, so no problem. Okay. Well, no, also, no. I'm not 20 years old. I mean, if I was 20, this oh really? Be dead either. Oh um, my god! I, I got a wrong assumption. I thought you were just about me at uh, 22 or something. 20. Oh really? 22. That's nice. When do 20 I get to years ago. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, don't believe Wikipedia. I don't believe anything they say. <laughs> someone Never edited it. Was. Someone edited it for you. So. Oh, I've had friends do that just to uh, mess with me. They put all sorts of crazy stuff in there until I catch it. Um, but if you, so, if I was like twenty, let's say, or just like really young, I would have. You'd have this like boundless, um, naive energy. I I have boundless energy, but I but I. Uh, kind of unfortunately, I know the reality of the business. I know the reality of the world, so I don't, um, I don't pursue certain things. But if you were like eighteen or nineteen or twenty, and you were just starting out, God forbid, <laughs> in the record industry, um, I think you would just love all these. Like, ah, I'm gonna TikTok all day long, and I'm gonna Instagram live all day long. That's great. But as you kind of have been doing it for a while in the industry and all this those things aren't really appealing. I mean, they really have to drag me kicking and screaming for me to make a TikTok video. It's just, it just doesn't really interest me. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't mm -hmm. know. again, I have no idea what your question was. I'm just babbling away.
<laughs> it's okay. It's 7 a.m. there. People understand. That's, that's right. I haven't had enough tea yet. No, but I, I think the, the, the motivation for you is, is so deep that, you know, that these technological wonders, uh, no matter how wonderful they are, amazing, tempting uh, as they are, uh, I think it doesn't really matter. So if you are trying to make some priorities uh, as an artist, so just keep on uh, doing quality uh, compositions and things like that, uh, and you are not really disturbed or distracted by the, uh, by the, by the noise, I think you're able to separate what the noise is from the real thing. And uh, for me, that's that's really inspiring. I mean, uh, maybe it's about your generation that you're able to uh, to have uh, seen it all it. many years. Yeah. What do you mean, my generation? What are you trying to say? I mean, our generation, uh, millennial Thank generation. You. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You and I, oh as young kids. Um, Thank God, Lord, I lied again. Uh, Sorry. That's okay. You put it. You know, you really put it much more succinctly in a much clearer way than than I did. But uh, you know. You write the song, but well, we're just talking about music, let's say. But it, again, it applies to anything because your, your show is about inspiring people in business and other parts of life. And it applies uh, across the board. So you write a song, you create it, you get the idea, you write a song. I'm writing a new one right now. Behind you is behind me. Oh God, I don't know. Behind the Not camera, the it's room. piano. Behind me, so the window. <laughs> well, that's right. Uh, somewhere in this room, there's a piano with lyrics on it that I'm looking at right now. A new song that I'm working on. So I'll write that song. I'll finish it. Okay. Then I'll record it. I wish that was the end of my job. In the old days, that would be the end of my job. I would just turn it in and other people would turn it into this massive hit and they would tell me where to go and everything would be lovely. Mm hmm and I was fortunate to live in a time when that was still going on. Nowadays, um, your team is very important, but it's really on you. I wear the hat of record company executive, <laughs> producer, writer, singer, artist, um, merchandise manufacturer, album cover designer with other people, <laughs> but it all starts with me. Uh, what merchandise that we're gonna do, um, chef so I can keep myself alive, gardener so i can grow my vegetables i mean it's laundromat boy uh construction kid i mean i gotta do you gotta do every aspect of your life and your career right now it's on you and if you don't do it nobody's ever going to hear that great song you wrote so you could have this wonderful song it's going to sit on your piano forever and nobody will ever hear it or maybe a hundred wow. people will hear it and so yeah. that complicates kind of unfortunately yeah. Because again, I kind of fight this, but you just have to play the game. And it, it's really always been that way. I think it's, as we said earlier, it's easier now because there's more outlets. But it can it's get, the, um, it's, it's, it's easier. Focus. It's easier and more difficult this time. So it's, uh, there's that's a right. figure of speech about that. It's easy, but it's not. So anyway, it's that's a right. Figure. Before there were only certain channels and certain, you know, if you do this, if you go to dinner with the right people, if you do enough radio interviews, your song has a chance. That was really mm -hmm. easy. It was very a simple, dedicated path. We all went the same path. Mm -hmm. Now, God knows, you know, your album could, could just be sleeping for two years and all of a sudden a seven-year-old kid uses a little bit of a song on a TikTok video and you're the biggest thing. Oh yeah, uh, you talk yeah. about this, uh, this Gum Nam style, a uh, Korean that, you know, that's right. Cute, right? I mean, wow, I, you're showing your age. That was before my time. What was <laughs> I didn't even get the lyrics. So he said, "Dan, dan, 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 dan." Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pause for another commercial, and then when we come back, I I hope you're in for a game. It's a an easy game, and then more of you. your <laughs> more of your story and uh, let's talk about a bit of the uh, the live events in the new normal and how you appreciate it what are sure. the things that you plan moving uh, forward so don't go away ladies and gentlemen because the big picture on the new channel will uh, return please stay on our stream
Welcome back. You're still watching The Big Picture on the new channel. Again, I would like to invite you to watch our other shows on TNC, um, COVID Stories, Saturdays at 10.30, Point Affairs, uh, this is uh, Tuesdays at 10.30 a.m., Aman and more, 8.30 p.m., 5.30 a.m., California, USA time. Healthline, um, starting next week, will be Wednesdays at 4 p.m. We met work Saturdays at 9 a.m. Awesome day, Mondays at 2.30 p.m. Cybernext is Wednesdays, 12 noon. And uh, tech evangelist Marvin Salazar will be uh, taking a deep dive about everything tech. Tech you, Fridays at 2.30 PM. Catch also our other uh, original shows such as One Day, TNC Town Hall, uh, more upcoming shows on TNC. Please follow our channel on Facebook and YouTube and let us help you hashtag see the new you. Okay, back to my uh, uh, nakakabagot. <laughs> That's right. Nakababagot. <laughs> okay, Kyle Vincent, ladies and gentlemen in the house, uh, we are, again, we, we thank you for your time. Honor that you are here. Uh, it's, uh, it's early morning there. We don't have an idea how awake you are. I doubt even if you can remember this interview. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for coming. I have coming. no idea where I am or who I am, but I'll have some more tea. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please do. Cheers. Okay, the game is called uh, uh, Big or Small. I'm going to mention an item, and then it just tell us if you prefer the item to be big or small. Game? Okay. Item number one, coffee. I don't drink it, so small. <laughs> milk tea. Uh, I don't drink milk, small. Okay. Tea car. Large. Car. Car. Small. I have the smallest car in the world. House. Small. Credit limit in credit cards. <laughs> At this time in the world, big. <laughs> so it depends. That's right. We'll say big. Wallet. I, boy, I'm such negative Nelly here. Uh, I don't carry a wallet, so I'll say small. <laughs> Planet in the solar. Wallets. Planet in the solar system. Hmm. I love I love astronomy and planets. Uh, hmm. This is interesting. Well. Hmm. I don't want to discriminate, but I'll go big. <laughs> okay, look at me. Yeah. Bed. Believe it or not, small. Oh, I don't believe it, but yes. It's <laughs> you said true. It. <laughs> it's true. I like to sleep in a small bed. Okay. That's Wrist your watch. inside scoop of the day. Yes, it is. Wrist watch. Wrist watch. <clears throat> um, I guess big. So I can look like a real man. Okay. Now we know that you're just trying to look like one. <laughs> That's right. I spent my whole <laughs> life trying. I haven't gotten there yet. Still working on it. All right. Um, okay. Which item now? Okay. Now answer the question. If heaven okay. is true, except from your family members and myself, who do you want to take with you to heaven if you're going to go up there tonight? A vegan chef. Uh, does, he, does he have a name? I stumped him. Uh, I No, I don't have one in mind. No. <laughs> Anyone. Okay. If you're a barber, who's a Hollywood artist who would like to uh, cut hair this pandemic? Are we back to big and small? No, this is just a regular question. No, yeah, Whose regular. hair would I like to cut in Hollywood? Yep. Uh Dakota Johnson. All right. If you're a gym instructor, if you're a gym instructor, whose political leader you'd like to train in the gym? Political leader I'd like to train in the gym. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, probably our current one. <laughs> Does he have a name? That. Yes, but we won't. Yes, we'll just let it go. Okay. If you were an astronaut, who do you want to take with you to the outer space? One person only. 
um, one person it has to be a per a human. It has to be human. Hopefully, hmm. you know, I'm gonna have to pass and get back to this one. Okay. Last okay. question. You have all the money in the world. Oh, Gilbert, O'Sull Gilbert O'Sullivan, so he can sing to me. There you go. Okay, Gilbert. Uh, the name is Gilbert. Gilbert O'Sullivan. Yeah, Gilbert. Okay. There you go. Uh, there's well, only no, one. Just don't leave it at Gilbert. People are going to wonder, well, who's Gilbert? No, I, he's a singer. <laughs> Let them do oh, the Google search. Let's, let's find who Gilbert is. <laughs> okay, Tyler the follow Gilbert sitting in a tree. Okay, go the ahead. Follow the follow-up question to the the follow-up question to uh, to that mm -hmm. question is uh, only one person can go back to Earth. Who is it going to be? Oh, we'll let Gilbert go back to Earth so he can continue singing for people, and I'll live happily. In uh, okay. on the moon. Okay. <laughs> Last question. You have all the money in the world. Which company are you going to buy? Hmm. Universal. <laughs> Universal. I, uh, a, a company that, a agriculture company that grows watermelons. Okay. So okay. I can have an endless supply of watermelons. Yeah, Joyce Christian said it has to be human. Yes, <laughs> I suppose it, it, I, I suppose Gilbert was uh, human. <laughs> Gilbert O'Sullivan is human. Yes. Well, I was going to go with chipmunk because there's a, I have a pet chipmunk who lives outside and I feed him every day and I'd be very sad if I had to leave him here. So I would probably bring him. I agree. I agree. All right. Thank you so much for playing the game. Although you did not get the perfect score, I think you got the passing I did grade. Not. Yeah, you did. Sorry, I'm sorry, but you hey, didn't. Uh, Lloyd, Hi. would you like me to sing? Uh, because my computer is going to die here, and I have. I'm going to do. I'm going to that. Yes, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going there. Actually, that's the next thing. Can you sing for us, uh, Tagalog? I could sing you just a little bit Tagalog before my my laptop dies because I didn't bring the charger. Okay, sure. Um, let's do it. I think I know the words without looking, but just not to. Uh, just, I don't want to. I'll tell you the words stuff. if you miss it. I, I can, in fact. Uh, That's right. You were singing along me. earlier. You were singing yes. along earlier. One right. of our favorites so I, here in the Philippines, by the way. One of the most sang uh, pieces, song in the Philippines. Oh, really? Really, really? Yeah. Um, I just, I would love to know what Wensi thinks about my version. I actually recorded it. Um, but the first time I heard this song, I just melted. I just loved it. Okay, we're down to 6%. I better. Excuse me. I have no idea what key it's in because I don't know what time it is or what planet I'm on, but we'll see what happens. Ilang uli. Okay, ready? Two. And a one. And a two. Ilang uli munang itinatanong sa akin kung hanggang saan hanggang saan hanggang kailan hanggang kailan magtatagal ang aking pagmamahal Hanggang mahimi pa akong naririnig dito sa tinda idik. Hanggang may musika akong tinataglay kita ini ibig. Here's the big part. Gili wag musa ng isiping ikaw ay aking lilisaning di ko magagawong lumayo sa yung piling at nais kong malaman mo. Wait a second, let me make sure. At nice kung malaman mo kung Wait a second, hold on. I don't have the words here. I think I had it right. Kamahal. Kung gano kita. Kamahal. There you go. Now the computer there. can die. <laughs> okay, verse two. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Actually, verse two is even nicer. Yeah, um, it is. It is. You know, it's funny. Uh, I would uh, sing Jocelyn this. says, uh, Kyle, you sing really very good Filipino song. Uh, you can oh, see on the call okay. stream. And then Joyce uh, says, Hanggang for the win. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Hanggang like, for you, America. Every bar, every household in the karaoke, uh, one of the most uh, the popular song is Hanggang. It's a, it's a really touching song. Uh, I yeah. agree to that. So. It means uh, for Americans, it means uh, until, until yeah. hanggang. And it's hanggang. a very, uh, it's a very beautiful song. Very beautiful. It's yeah. almost a uh, a national anthem here. <laughs> well, you know, it's the one thing. Like I always imagine when I go to foreign countries, I imagine other Americans. Like what would they think if they were there? 
And the first thing you realize, one of the first things you realize when you're in the Philippines is how how incredibly popular air supply is. From just born child, the first word, you know, is, is an air supply song, you know. Lost in love and I don't. I mean, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you'll be at three in the morning walking the streets of Makati and you'll hear air supply beaming from some speaker somewhere. Every taxi. Um, and it's just funny because in the U.S., you know, air supply is thought of as a, uh, a classical act from you know, classic pop act from the from the 80s or so. And uh, I mean, I love I love that band. I was so happy when I arrived. And I, Why is air supply everywhere? <laughs> Let's just say that uh, we are unable to move on. <laughs> we no, were stuck. But see, <laughs> see, this is why I connect with the Filipinos and the Philippines so much. This is why I feel so warm when I'm there because because it's like I I never realized that that there was a country in the world that had the same, you know, uh, unapologetic love of these sweet songs. And mm -hmm. just because because time moves on doesn't mean these songs go away. And I listen to them all the time. You yeah. know, I we listen have... to I I listen to Seals and Crops all the time. Mm -hmm. you know? We 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 have we have all in in our. Uh, uh, FM radio stations, we have the entire Sunday for old songs. Wow. So the, <coughs> That's great. if you are, if you are uh, hearing uh, old songs, it must be a Sunday. Oh, I like that. That's a nice lyric. I might right. steal that. <laughs> if you're hearing old songs, it must be a Sunday. Yeah. It's, it's trademark. It's, trademark Luna, it's a fun day. There you go. If you have Carl Vincent, it must be the wrong day. So <laughs> I, <laughs> but it could be your song day. Oh, see, we just wrote a hit. Someday it can be. <laughs> I'm moving to Nashville. <laughs> All right. So, uh, my, my question, uh, did this about live events uh, i was telling you uh, before we pause for a commercial break live events how do you how do you see has it changed uh, when you go back uh, in your tours uh, what are the changes you're anticipating uh, are you ready to go back on stage uh, what are your thoughts about uh, moving forward from this unprecedented situation oh my god as I said earlier, I'm I I couldn't miss it anymore. I'm I'm missing the connection, and it's like if somebody just took your job away from you, you know, just like that. And um, so it's I can't wait to get back there. I had a big tour, you know. This is my twentieth album in the year twenty twenty, and I had a uh, a goal to visit twenty countries, and we had all these tours booked. So wah wah wah. <laughs> um, I don't mean to whine, but we'll be out there again. And I think it'll be basically the way it was before. Um, honestly, I've always been a bit of a germaphobe. And uh, so I always carried hand cleaner. As I said earlier, I always wear a mask on an airplane. So it won't change too much for me. I expect maybe starting out, I might be singing uh, to a an audience wearing masks. Uh, Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever we need to do to get through this, you know. Yeah, uh, we're gonna I'm have to be a, inventive. I'm a professional speaker, and uh, I think next month I'm going to have my first uh, public appearance after seven months in a lockdown. I don't even know what to expect. I mean, last seven months I wasn't able to hold the microphone and you know inspire, motivate, uh, entertain people as well. Right. So I, I cannot even imagine me talking with a mask or. My audience are all uh, on masks, but uh, as you said, nothing. Uh, we, we don't have so much choice but to, uh, but 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 to, to live with the virus, uh, and try to try to revive the old uh, gold golden old days. Well, this is a test for us also because it's not like this is going to be the last time. You know, um, that's a political discussion in a way, but things are going to keep happening as long as the climate is in crisis and other things. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a test to let us know that we need, you know, life is precious. 
Let, let, let's talk a bit about uh, that very quickly about your your being a, an advocate for uh, uh, for a, <clears throat> a climate environment. Uh, mm -hmm. how, how did it start? I mean, I, I know that you are really concerned about the environment, but uh, uh, having been trained by former Vice President Al Gore is something else. Uh, so you're taking a stage of uh, really uh, voicing out your advocacy uh, around the world? Yeah, uh, it did start at a young age. I was born with a, a real connection with nature and animals. Uh, absolutely, from the youngest age possible. Um, and I made the connection pretty early on, God, probably 25 years ago, depending on how old we're claiming we are today. It was either 20 or 30 years ago. We'll have to make the adjustment. Uh, mm -hmm. But I changed my diet uh, to what they're now calling a plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. um, because for health reasons, for the health of the animals, for the health of myself. And then I started to really study and read well before there was any talk about a climate crisis. I started realizing that our diet is connected to the earth, you know? I mean, if you have too many cows eating too much grass, then um, you're gonna have a problem because you're gonna have to cut down a lot of trees and the trees are the lungs of the earth. We can't lose too many trees or we will cease to breathe. The earth will cease to breathe. It's a very pretty easy equation there. So I tied it in that what I could do, the best thing I could do for the climate and for the earth is to change my own behavior and my own life so that I could now you could say, well, you're flying in airplanes all the time. No, that's right. I'm not perfect. And you got to get from place to place and you know, you do what's best. You do what you can do. Um, so anyway, I changed my diet and then I saw that movie an inconvenient truth a long time ago and, and, uh, found an opportunity to, to, uh, go to Nashville and uh, be trained and, and to give, to be an authorized uh, presenter of that slideshow, I tweaked it to include the importance of one's own diet because you can tell people to change the car they drive. Well, that's kind of a, a, a first world problem. Not everybody can just magically change the car they drive. You can change yeah, light yeah. bulbs. You can, you know, yeah. you can do certain things, but we can all change what we eat. And but that's also a tough sell because you're fighting against uh, really culture and family and upbringing. Mm -hmm. Well, I always grew up eating hamburgers and they give me joy. OK, how about you try this instead? Anyway. So, uh, yeah, you know, I try not to be too preachy because uh, unfortunately, honestly, one of the most unfortunate things I've ever witnessed in my life, I think, is the making the climate, the environment, a political issue. If there's mm -hmm. one issue that shouldn't be political, it's the air and the water and the earth and the animals. I mean, my God, no matter who or what you believe, that should be a common desire that we all have clean air and clean water and happy animals and happy kids and healthy kids. Yeah. Uh, so that's a huge disappointment, I, but I'm very optimistic for the future. I think we're going to get there. I think we're going to turn the corner. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Joy uh, says uh, they should play his music, Rower. I don't know what music that is. But who knows? You will come back on TNC uh, to do a, sort of a special. Let's do it, uh, Kyle. Uh, you singing, maybe me playing, I don't know. But uh, Let's yeah, do that. Probably. Let's do a musical version of this next time. Yeah, yeah just, just uh, sort of a 30-minute uh, show, 35 songs. Uh, I would love it. A four, a 60-minute with 10 songs. I'd love to. Yeah, let's do it. Two hours and 20 songs. Let's do it. All right. Okay, final question before I let you go back to sleep. Sure. <laughs> I've been sleeping the whole time. What are you talking about? This is all a dream. Really? I didn't even realize you're doing that. But okay, this is question. One wild dream. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh my goodness. I can't I, I don't know. But maybe the last question. Uh uh what's the big picture? Uh considering all things that are happening right now, what's the big picture? Maybe the, the things that the picture that, that people might be missing. The big picture is hope. The big picture is self-reflection the big picture is compassion 
um, use this time. I would personally think that this is a great time to use uh, to reflect upon our, uh, I don't mean to make this sound so deep, but it's just, you know, again, I'm, you're getting me out of my sleep, so I'm I'm getting giving you a lot of honest, deep thoughts here today, I guess. But but uh, it's a great time to realize that we're all in this together, and uh, that is the big picture. Um, best all that right. I can see it. Yep. Thank you so much, Kyle Vincent. Uh, we really are honored and privileged to have you in the show. Uh, appreciate Lloyd, your time. Appreciate it. I'm really honored to be here, and I'm. I really meant it. Your questions have been wonderful. This has been inspiring to me to hear somebody uh, ask such thoughtful questions. Thanks for doing your homework. And uh, All right. and some I know you didn't plan. You just came right to you. So that's even better. And your English is superb. Thank you so very much. Now, before I get my head so big, I would like to put you out on the It'll studio. It'll never be this big. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> like a bobblehead. But thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the time that we're going to do the uh, the collaboration thing on TNC. Uh, I think they I are taking out of it. Uh, some of our viewers are saying they are excited and looking forward to do that. So, yeah, word is your bond. So we're going to do that uh, anytime soon. Very inspiring, uh, Kyle, uh, says Jocelyn Manalili. I can't wait to get back and see my friends and fans in the Philippines. I love you all, really. I, I just can't wait. And um, some of the greatest fans in the world, I need to come back there soon. And we're going to make it happen. Don't worry. All right. So follow your Instagram account. Uh, what's the in Instagram account of Kyle? Kyle, KV Songs on FB and uh, Kyle Vincent Official uh, with the underscore on IG. Thank you so salamat much. Salamat. 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 Maraming maraming salamat. <laughs> all right bye stay safe all right ladies and gentlemen that's it for our episode for tonight I told you it's been inspiring at pwede na po ko magtagalog ah, salamat naman sa Diyos at pwede na ko magtagalog <laughs> but I enjoyed the interview as much as everybody I hope it's inspiring uh, it's not always that we have this Hollywood caliber uh, being in our show and they really Really, I'm so impressed about you know the, the thoughts. If there's anything, you know, uh, I, I really admire those people with a, a deep appreciation of of, of things, uh, not just you know, popular, but uh, I'm more into people who who have the the heart for what they are doing. Really, not just you know the uh, uh, the fancy things and stuff. And Jem Vodka gave us 200 stars. Thank you, Jem Vodka Celiano. <laughs> For giving us 200 stars, I think it's the biggest so far that we get. But uh, wow, they are enjoying the they are enjoying the show. They have enjoyed the show. Can watch it over and over again on facebook.com slash TNC now. In the meantime, I'm going to say goodbye for now. It's weekend, so I'm going to see you again on Monday. Uh, the big picture would like to thank Puzzle Box PPO Inc., also sponsored by Unisol, SMDC, Lulu Ryan, Telepreneur. Maraming salamat din po sa ating mga sponsors tulad ng Reway Placenta. Maraming salamat din po sa panakalimut ng Mr. Rice, Aliaga Rice Supply. Thank you so much, PAP, SPALP, Radio Voices. Maraming salamat. Step back. I'm going to see you again on Monday. And before I go, I just would like to remind you, next is, what is next? <laughs> next show is what? Today is Friday, so ano kasi na show? Come on, direct, direct. <laughs> anyway, don't go away on TNC because next is tara. <laughs> They're searching for it. It's Friday, but I enjoyed. Uh, I hope you are going to have your weekend uh, that is uh, sweet, inspiring, and uh, you know, take time to recharge on the weekend. TNC Marketplace is next at 10 p.m. Stay on TNC. Bye bye, everyone. Good night.